Thank you. Let me uh, begin by saying um, I want to thank John and UNICEF uh, and other people who are really working under very difficult circumstances on the ground in both in Gaza uh, for their extraordinary work and courage. So let me just begin by that. The objective of my mission was twofold. Um, the first was a first-hand assessment of what was going on in Gaza and southern Israel. And the second was to how we should uh, meet, move forward. Uh, I met with the Palestinian Authority, Israeli authorities, um, uh, UN agencies, and I spent a lot of time speaking to children, both in Gaza, the West Bank, as well as in southern Israel, in Ashkelon. Um, and, you know, you would see very much uh, the terrible destruction in Gaza uh, of the political and social uh, and economic infrastructure. And in Ashkelon, you see also the effects of mobilizing for security uh, and its effect on children uh, in those uh, uh, situations. Now, with regard to a general assessment, I would say that there is so much anger and despair uh, in uh, especially the Gaza and the West Bank, as well as to some extent in Ashkelon, that there was a absolute demand for some kind of accounting process, uh, an impartial, independent investigation into what actually took place. As you know, the SG has, uh, has uh, set up a board of inquiry that will be moving past in the Anbar schools, but I think perhaps there was a demand for a broader investigation, and I think the UN agencies also acknowledge. Um, and I think there's so much anger, and um, the children, on the one hand, were very angry. At the other hand, they're strong advocates for peace. But to channel that anger into some legal process, I think, is crucial. Uh, I think that that's the only way one can deal with that. Uh, especially among young people, if they know that there is a process, a legal process, that would deal with some of these issues, I think that's one. Secondly, um, the other big issue for all of us is the humanitarian crossings. It is absolutely crucial that uh, Israel lift, uh, allow uh, the crossings to be open, especially at Kani and Sophie for commercial, and, uh, and also uh, to expand the list of the items that will go in. We found even at one point, they were not letting in paper to print school textbooks um, uh, and things like that, very minor th things that we can't see the security implications of. But uh, I think it's really crucial that they rethink their whole crossings policy. Uh, we need, uh, at the moment, only about 100, less than 200 trucks are going through. We need at least 400 just for the humanitarian needs and over 1,000 once reconstruction begins. So there's really a need to advocate for Israel to look at this issue with a long-term perspective and allow especially UN agencies and relief workers the access. Um, with regard to the basic services for children, we found the really urgent issues for children are first, the reconstruction of schools. We saw so many schools that had been just flattened, including the American International School, which, as you know, uh, was a place of secular uh, learning. Uh, we need to rebuild those schools. But also, I think the UNDP report bears out what we saw. The need for psychosocial support uh, is uh, the very, maybe because I went just after both uh, in Gaza as also in Ashkelon, the, the terrible trauma, uh, especially children in Gaza, because they witnessed um, the violence uh, of, to their family members in very acute terms and everything around them. Uh, that, I think, is a very high priority. And not only the children, we found that the caregivers, the principals of the schools, all of them uh, s seem to need a lot of support. Um, so we, we will be pushing for that, both the reconstruction schools and the psychosocial. So if I may, just to some extent, summarize for Israel, our demand is that please open the crossings at Kani and Sophie and expand the list of articles that can be admit admitted into Gaza. Conduct your own investigations into um, what took place. Um, one thing you find, the difference, of course, between Gaza and uh, southern Israel is capacity. Um, what we found in Ashkelon is that Israel has the national capacity to deal with the, the crisis. Uh, it's very well mobilized. People are, the, the town is very well organized. Uh, and um, so the capacity also, then, we hope, to deal with the rule of law issues and that it would rekindle within its society that capacity and deal with it. Um, with regard to Hamas, our demand is that they stop the rocket fire um, that uh, indiscriminately really falls, uh, and also that they respect um, the international aid and the integrity of international aid and not allow it to be diverted. And finally, the real need of the hour for reconstruction to begin is some working arrangement in Gaza. I mean, this is often the elephant in the room. 
the Palestinian Authority uh, and Hamas, how are they going to work together, how are we going to get this aid on the ground. Uh, and there is suggestions for some technical government to be in place for a year to reconstruct Gaza. These are some of the suggestions uh, that we are making. I would just say it was a very shocking experience. Uh, I, it was terrible. Uh, and I just hope this will never again occur uh, and that we really, for the sake of the children of uh, Gaza uh, and southern Israel, we really hope the peace process will begin and these kinds of encounters do not happen ever again.